Welcome to the assembly video for your new Broil King gas grill. Please use this video as a companion to your assembly manual. Now let's get started. Before starting, unpack all components of your barbecue and lay them out in your workspace. Use the drip pan to hold the contents of the hardware bag. You will need the following tools to assemble your Broil King barbecue. A number two and a number three Phillips or Robertson screwdriver. Step one. Align the two side panels with the rear panel. Slide the rear panel into place and tighten the four screws with your screwdriver. Step two. Turn the three-piece cabinet upside down and install the base. Note the position of the tank cutout to ensure the base is installed correctly. Step three. Build the caster bracket assembly. Lay out the left and right side caster brackets, then fasten the stainless steel base trim to the brackets. Each bracket is contoured to connect with the trim piece. Step four, align the caster bracket assembly with the base and fasten together with the hardware provided. The caster bracket has a slot that secures the base, making it extra sturdy once assembled. Here's a tip. The screws are tight to the edges in this step. A longer handle screwdriver is the ideal tool for the task. Step five, set the cook box on top of the empty grill box and unpack the hose and regulator assembly as well as the igniter wires from beneath it. Attach the grease tray holder to the bottom of the casting with the screws provided. Step six, lay the cart base assembly on its back. You may loosen the screws on the bracket to create more space. Bring the cabinet assembly in line with the bottom of the cook box and slide into place. Once the cabinet is inserted, you can re-tighten those screws. Fasten the cabinet on the two front most points. Attach the match light assembly to the bolt hole on the right side of the control panel end cap. Step seven, route the gas hose through the L-shaped notch on the bottom of the cook box assembly, then bend it into place. Fasten the bracket to the side panel using the two screws provided. Step eight, install the battery pack. Begin by unscrewing the battery pack cap, install three batteries into the battery pack, then insert and secure the cap. Please note the positive terminal and negative terminal markings throughout. Secure the battery pack body to the side panel using two screws. Connect the battery pack to the wiring harness. Step nine, Install the electronic igniter. Begin by unscrewing the cap and plastic nut. Secure the igniter body to the side panel using the plastic nut. Install one battery into the igniter, then secure the cap. Please note the positive terminal and negative terminal markings. Connect the igniter to the electrode wires as indicated in the manual. The larger connection points connect the generator to the igniter switch. The smaller wires are for the electrodes. Step 10. Install the door brackets and door magnets using the supplied hardware. Do not over tighten.
Step 11. Install the cabinet bracket. Use two screws and washers to secure the bracket to the base. and two screws to connect it to the side panel. Step 12. Install the tank bracket assembly with the hardware provided. Note the hole placement for the bracket. This piece retains the top ring of your propane tank to secure it in place once installed. Step 13. Install the handle on your door. Pass one bolt with washer through the door panel. Install the bezel and tighten partially. Repeat with the other bolt, washer, and bezel. And fully tighten both sides with your screwdriver. Repeat for the other door. Step 14. Prepare to install the cabinet doors. Insert a bolt through the base of the cabinet. Place a spacer over the bolt. Repeat for the other side. Step 15. Install the doors on your barbecue. Insert the upper door pin into the opening on the cook box and align the bottom hole on the door with the bolt. Tighten the bolt secure. Repeat for the other door. Step 16. Insert the wheels into the caster bracket. You will hear a click when they are fully inserted. Add the four black caps to the top of the caster bracket. With the help of a friend, stand your Baron barbecue upright. Step 17. Install the six remaining screws to secure the cabinet to the cookbox. Step 18. Attach the right side shelf to the shelf bracket. Fold up and lock in place with the locking tabs. Step 19. Attach the left side shelf to the shelf bracket. Fold up and lock in place with the locking tabs. The side shelves have been designed to fold down for easy and convenient storage. If your barbecue grill model has a side burner, be sure to lock it in the upright position. Step 20. The installation of the side burner hose is only applicable to the Baron 440 and higher. The Baron 420 does not feature a side burner. For a grill with an infrared side burner, install the side burner hose by routing the hose through the side panel along with the igniter wire. Pull down on the collar as you push the hose into place. Release the collar and gently pull on the hose to confirm a secure connection. Connect the electrode wire to the pin. Attach the grease cup and slide it into place on the grease tray bracket. Step 21. Install the two center grease shields in the bottom of the cook box. Note the center shields do not have a raised lip. Step 22. Install the two outer grease shields in the bottom of the cook box. Note the outer shields have a raised lip. Step 23. Attach the cook box lid using the hardware provided. Ensure to clip the hinge cotter pins in place. Insert the five flavor waves. Cooking grids.
and warming rack. Ensure the rack is resting in the proper grooves. Step 24. Attach the grease cup onto the grease tray assembly and slide it into place on the grease tray bracket. Step 25. Install the rotisserie bracket. Install the bracket with two bolts and wing nuts. Now slide the rotisserie motor onto the bracket. To assemble the rotisserie rod, thread the washer onto the rod. Put the counterbalance weight on the spit rod and secure it with the handle. Install the collar on the end of the spit rod. Place the forks on the spit rod and tighten in place. Install the assembled rod onto the grill with the open end going into the motor. Now use your screwdriver to tighten the set screw. Step 26. Install the propane tank in your barbecue. Secure using the tank bracket assembly and attach the hose and regulator with the tank valve facing to the front of the cabinet. If you have a natural gas grill, pull the hose through the back of the left circular opening on the side panel. Now you're done assembling your Broking Baron grill. Take a look over your grill to ensure everything is working smoothly. Now is a good time to register your grill. Please visit BrokingBBQ.com today and click on the link. It's quick and easy. We'll provide you with the very best in customer support, recipe ideas, informative videos, grilling tips, and much more. Royal King. Great barbecues every time.